Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we return back to basics. We're not talking about politics, about nationality or about the virus. Today we talk about what I eat. I have a very special what I eat in a day video because actually it is not only one day but two days in a quick video for you. Let's get to it, starting with breakfast. What you can see here is three sunny side up eggs with a lot of melted cheese, paprika cheese on the side and beef on top. This was my breakfast. For lunch, I chose a grass fed rump steak. And this is the finished product. As you can see, I don't go lightly on the butter. I added around about 30 grams of butter on top. And this is already a little too cooked for me. Usually I eat steak almost raw. And here we go, dinner that day, four salmon fillets with some asparagus on the side. Yes, I am the carnivore apostate. This is why I called this day a full hyper carnivore day of eating, because yes, on that day I chose to have some plants on the side. All right, it's the next day. Again, I chose three eggs for breakfast. This time scrambled yet again with cheese on top and on the side, plus some sujuk. Sujuk is a spicy Turkish beef sausage. Super delicious. Time for a snack. Doesn't it look yummy, you guys? Just kidding. For most people, this will look disgusting. I am well aware. However, this is the most nutritionally dense animal food there is on the planet. Raw liver. Yes, I eat it raw. Uncooked, unprocessed, just like that. A great source of vitamin A. And now it's lunchtime for all my Balkan brothers and sisters. You know it is Cevapcici time. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Among my top 10 Balkan favorite foods. I started out with 5 Cevapcici and helped myself to 2 more. Now for dinner we had bone marrow absolutely delicious. It was the first time that I ate it this way. I had bone broth many times before, but this way, simply baked in the oven, was a first time for me. Of course, that is not enough and therefore I had one rump steak on the side. And here you go, this is the finished product. The bone marrow is so creamy, so thick, so rich. It reminded me of a coconut. It has the same thick shell. On the outside you have this white flesh and in the middle you have the juice. Very similar to a coconut and if I would have to describe the taste, I would say it even tasted like a cross of coconut and butter. And this is it guys. Two days, six meals. This is how I eat at the moment. Many people ask me if I am a carbophobe, why I don't eat any carbohydrates. Guys, when I return to training, I will reintroduce some carbohydrates. 
I'm not against carbohydrates. This way of eating is very satisfying for me. And if I don't do any sports, this is a fantastic way of staying in shape. If you're not working out, you don't really need a bunch of sugar. Therefore, for now, I stick to zero carb carnivore. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And as always, may God bless you. Much love and peace.